Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cradle Point Firmware version 6, how to upgrade, and a quick glimpse of the new interface. The first thing we have to do is our upgrade. I'm going to show you this on a Cradle Point AER2100, but this applies to any Cradle Point that the firmware is valid for. This is the 1200B and up. The MBR95 is not included. First thing that you'll need to do is log into your Cradle Point. So you'll visit the admin console at its default 192.168.0.1. Unless you have changed this, you'll log in to the new IP. Enter your password and click log in, and you'll be presented with your router's dashboard screen. From the router dashboard screen, this is where you'll have your information about the current internet connections, the Wi-Fi, and the local network. We're going to head over into the System Settings tab on the top right, and then select System Software. The firmware upgrade will automatically check at predefined intervals. If it does not show a new version available, you can click Check Again. In our case, it already has the new version detected as version 6.0.1. There are two ways you can do the upgrade. You can either select Automatic Internet if the router is connected to the internet and the new version is available, or you can select manual firmware upload and use the file downloaded from CradlePoint's site. CradlePoint has their firmware listed at cradlepoint.com firmware, and you'll need to log in to your CradlePoint account. If you do not already have one, you can create one, and this is a free process, and from there you'll be able to access the firmware. You'll select your router from the list, and then select version 6.0.1 and click download. Once that's downloaded, you can head back to the 2100, select manual upload, and browse to your file. In our case, we're just going to hit automatic. At this point, the router is going to become unavailable for use. You'll get a message on the screen that shows you the firmware is being flashed to the router. This whole process will take a couple of minutes, and at this point, you're just going to want to let your web browser and the network sit uninterrupted. Don't close the browser and don't reboot the router. Depending on your web browser, the Cradle Point will automatically log you back in. If not, just click the refresh button. Now you are on Cradle Point version 6. You'll notice that there are a lot of changes right off the bat. The entire interface now resembles Cradle Point's Enterprise Cloud Manager or ECM. This is great for ECM users, but it is a little bit jarring when you're coming into this from the previous build. Go ahead and log in. The location is now on the left, but your username and password stay the same. Go ahead and type in your password and click Login. This is the new dashboard page where you will see all of your device information, the internet connection status, and your navigation for the rest of the page. In upcoming videos, we'll take a look at some of the more common features such as Wi-Fi WAN and the Connection Manager. For more information, visit 3gstore.com, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.